guys, this is Kami Kuno, and today I'm doing a review for Bidden, and we are two episodes away from the season finale. Um, in this episode, we get to see that um, the Mutts are going after Clay and Elena. Now, Philip is getting a little suspicious, like, what's going on here? And he's getting a little jealous because he finds out Clay is not actually her cousin. Um, so there's a big fight between the Mutts, and in the end, we get to see that Philip finds out that Elena is a werewolf. She reveals herself and says, hey, this is why I can't stay with you. I, I gotta help my family. Um, another story that's going on is with Logan. Um, his girlfriend is finding out a little bit more about him. Um, why are these mutts attacking him? So the people around them are finding out that maybe these group of people aren't um, maybe hanging out with the right people, which is the mutts. And obviously they probably think it's mob and everything, but they don't know about the werewolf stuff. Um, so now, you know, she's worried um, what's going to happen to her, and Logan's trying to protect her and try to protect his family and try to one, run away from the pack at the same time. Um, but he is going to go to New York and, you know, bring his uh, girlfriend with him because he just, he wants to protect his family, and um, he's hoping that the pack will have a change of ways, that, yeah, maybe we can have humans kind of in our pack also. Um, so I'm really looking forward to seeing where that story goes. Um, I thought this was a really tense episode. Um, my favorite episode, honestly, of the season. Um, you know, what I've been waiting for is to bring New York and Toronto together, and this episode really proved that they can do that. Um, and they did do that. They really brought this mutt story into Toronto. Um, and I, I like there wasn't that two story conflicting um, each other, where it was always like, this is what's going on with Philip, this is going on with Logan, but here's the mutt story. Um, now it's really combining it, and that makes it a better show. And, and one thing I like about the show is, yeah, it's a supernatural show, we'll give it that, but it's more of this suspense thriller. Um, when I watch it, I don't know if I'm really being thrilled because I, I can't wait to see what happens in the story, but it's actually those moments where the mutts are chasing um, Elena and the pack. It's it's a thriller show, and I, I feel like I could title it that. Um, because this whole episode, what made this episode great so great was that thrill, and there was definitely a suspense throughout the whole episode. Um, and then also Clay gets kidnapped in the end, so that's a great cliffhanger, and I love the Philip cliffhanger, and I think we will see Philip in the next episode but I have a feeling Philip is going to leave. I have a feeling. I don't know why they build up this character so much that I feel he's going to leave. Um, but maybe they will diverge from the books and make him stay. Maybe he'll become a werewolf or something. I, I think that would be better to for the show um, if they want to go over season two. Because I think the book is, you know, just a book and ends. Um, with a show, with serial, you got to, you know, make this intense love triangle happen. Um, so I can see Philip staying around for that and changing changing it from the books that they want a season two forbidden. Um, I could definitely see that, uh, and I hope they do that because I do honestly. I might be the only one, but I do like Philip's character a lot, um, and I, I like that interaction he she has. Um, um, Elena has with Philip, even though I do like Clay in a way also. So I do like that love triangle that's forming that I don't want to be like Vampire Diaries where it lasts the six seasons, but I do want to see it, you know, grow and see where it goes. Um, so I really hope Philip does accept Elena in the end, but who knows, because Elena's been lying to Philip a lot. So, but really tense episode, really enjoyed it, and I think the, the show's just becoming a, a lot better throughout the end of the season. So even though it had maybe a little bit of a slow start, slow um, middle, um, this, this show's really building up towards the end. I, I hope he gets renewed for a season two because it's become a really cool show. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Uno and guys of course I'll have a review for Bidden next week and this is Comic Uno and guys don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic Uno and their end situations. Don't forget to like my Facebook page and I'll see you guys later.